space, the final frontier. Hey, wait a minute. Hello, everybody. This is Dr. McBrick, and I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, Star Trek was the bomb. It was the thing. And, uh, you know, showing my age a little bit, uh, I was, uh, you know, a kid when Star Trek, uh, um, you know, was, was popular. Um, so uh, a very, very young kid. But I grew in reruns to love the show. Um, it is, to me, the original science fiction TV show. Um, and I love uh, Spock and McCoy and Nurse Chapel and Sulu and and uh, Chekhov and, and, and Uhura and, of course, James T. Kirk. I just absolutely loved all the hijinks, the fun, and the drama. I loved the technology of the show and just the possibility of what could be with space travel. Well, you know, Lego has not made an official USS Enterprise. Now, there are other companies out there who have kind of official sets, that sort of thing, um, but Lego hasn't done it. Uh, this is something I had lying around um, that uh, um, actually uh, was a, uh, um, a little build that was done by my son's company. He had worked for a, a tech startup and um, a few years back, and uh, um, he, uh, my oldest son, and uh, they uh, came up with this little uh, Lego model, um, micro scale. So I thought I would show it and share it with you here. Um, it's not my own design or construction or anything, but it's very, very simple. Um, I thought I'd show it so any of you could build this. To give you an idea, um, it is micro scale, uh, and in some ways it's kind of uh, a little a little less than micro scale. Um, you know, I think that the Starship Enterprise to be even micro scale would be bigger than this model, but it's kind of cool. It's cute. Um, so uh, I thought I'd do a slow build for you um, instead of a speed build so you could see the parts and you could put one of these together probably with the parts you have lying around in boxes, the extra parts from sets. So without further ado, let's get to the build. Okay, now you need something on which it will sit because it is very top heavy. And um, it didn't come with a little base, but I just made a base out of a two by two jumper white piece and this nice curved piece here, um, plate. And basically I put the jumper on there um, and made that a base. So this way it'll hold it because it is top heavy with that dish on top. Okay, the next four pieces that you will need is you will need a cheese wedge in the light gray, a, um, a snot brick with um, five studs out of the six sides, and then you will need in the dark gray, and then you will need a light gray, medium gray, I forget exactly what the colors are, but you know what I'm saying, you can see it here. Um, you'll need a one by, and then you will need this um, light blue translucent uh, finishing round tile. Now, the way we put these together is we will take this for the back, and attach that as such. And then the body of the base of the Enterprise will be like that. And then we'll put this on here. And I believe this is the area that used to swirl in the uh, series on the real uh, um, Enterprise. And I think that's where the photon torpedo came out of. Um, and then we'll put that on the base there. And so we have that on to the next step. Okay, now we're gonna to start to build the midsection of the ship. And so we'll take a translucent yellow cheese wedge and put it on a four by one light gray plate. And then we will put the light gray cheese wedge on there like that. Now we take that and we attach it so the last anti-stud on this plate goes right on top of that dark gray brick right there. To continue with the midsection body of the USS Enterprise and to make the section that the main uh, area, the dish, sits on, we have a two by one light gray plate, two light gray studs, and one one by cheese wedge in light gray. And we'll attach them as such. This will give a little bit of curvature. And remember that there was that column that the big dish set on, on the Enterprise. So we take that and we put that on the farthest stud on the four by one plate. And we have 
the body of the Enterprise going up. Now we come to the most iconic part of the Starship Enterprise, the large saucer or dish. Now, when you think about it, think about the pop culture of the time. Think about what was happening in real life and also in our films and uh, magazines and our comic books and everything. Um, there were UFOs, flying saucers, all kinds of things. So the dish, I'm sure, and I don't know this for a fact because I've never read a lot about it, but I would assume that this dish was an homage that Roddenberry, Gene Roddenberry, the creator of Star Trek, was paying to the UFOs and the flying saucers of the popular culture of the time and before the time period in which Star Trek came out. So when we saw this dish, on television, the first thing that came to our mind, whether we, uh, you know, was were conscious about it or not, in our subconscious, was UFO and spaceship. So it was very iconic at the time. And so when we saw the Enterprise, we immediately thought spaceship. But there was something different with it because it was very different. And what made it different was the shape of it particularly the engines. So let's go and build the engines. Okay, now here's the simple build for the engines. We are using a light blue translucent rod, and I believe that's number four. Then we are using the dark gray cone piece, and then we're using a modified plate with two anti-studs on the top um, ring there. And then we're using one stud and a one by two all in the light gray. So it's real simple how to put it together. Um, and we're going to put this here and then this here. The cone goes right here and I'm kind of did, did it the wrong way here. There we go. The cone goes right here. And then the rod to show those wonderful wonderful engines remember the engines that scotty used to work on and just couldn't get enough power there they are now you need to make two of these so you'll need double your pieces and then you can go ahead and snap one onto this side here and once you do you have a nice little replica of the uss enterprise so I hope you enjoyed this little tiny build and I would encourage you to go ahead and build one of these because these are just absolutely, they're just, they're just really cool just to have sitting on a shelf. Um, and uh, uh, again, very simple builds. I'm sure you have probably all of these parts um, hanging around in a box of uh, used parts somewhere. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little mini build. Um, thank you so much for uh, um, subscribing and, and, and viewing and, and all your comments and everything like that. We are part of the BrickTubers Network, which I encourage you to go to the description below and find the links to all of the great BrickTubers. Um, with that said, please like, share, or comment down below and hit that bell if you'd like to know every time we have a video. This is Dr. McBrick. I am off on a five-year mission. Signing out.